Today is the 26th day of January 2015, and I'm very pleased to have with us Seema and Shampa. Welcome. Namaskar. These interviews that we take with older ashramites and other disciples and devotees are very special because there's from many of them a remembrance of the early days of the ashram when they saw mother when they lived with her when she interacted with all the disciples at one time so we usually begin by asking when you came first to the ashram and, and how you came and, and, and about your parents. So can we begin with you, Seema? Actually, I came here. Uh, in fact, I was carried here as a baby by my father. Oh. I came with my father and mother. I see. And uh, maybe I was 10 or 11 months old, 1951. 51. So that was the time I first came. And uh, actually, I have to talk about my father more than myself Certainly. because he was the person who really showed us the way and the way and still going on, both of us. So uh, he brought me first here and I learned to walk here because um, I believe when uh, I was a toddler, I couldn't walk. My father held one of my hands, my mother the other. And that's how I learned walking. And I believe it was Dilip Kumar Roy who was walking down the road. And he said, good, good in Bengali. Good, good. You learn to walk here. You learn to walk oh, here. How beautiful. And that the was, jumper? I um, would say that I don't know when I was, uh, like she said, even I was brought here by my parents, my mother, because we lost our mother at a very, yeah, I lost my mother at a very young age, at about when I was three and a half, four. Oh. So I was coming here, I think, from three years, when I was three years, that makes, I, am, I was born, 57 born, so from 60, 1960, I've been coming here, uh, as she was. And... Um, so you saw mother before she went upstairs then in 1960 she yeah, was still yeah. going to playground yes yeah, no we saw her actually uh, at the lower balcony darshan yes morning darshan. balcony right. street yeah, yeah. yes yeah, yes i did too darshan. i came in 61 yeah. so well, i don't know when she stopped giving that balcony darshan. 62 62 yeah. so yeah it could be that because i can recall one incident at the balcony uh, when i was just a little child there and we used to stay in Parka Shabo, as you call it. I yes, mean, yes, park, we used to Parka Shabo. Ah. That's what we it call was, it. Uh, now it's, it's Park still, Guest House. Yes. So I was here, and uh, we used to wait. And when mother will come, we don't know. So we used to wait and wait. And uh, suddenly everybody was... You were in father's lap. Yeah. I was uh, like in my father's lap. And suddenly mother came. And when she came... Uh, everybody was a little distracted, not distracted, like, uh, you know, here and there. Yeah. I shouted out and I said, Oi Toma, here, mother is there. And I remember mother coming straight towards that direction and she kept smiling and smiling oh, and smiling at me for a I very see. long I period see. of time. Oh. That is what I treasure yeah. and I will treasure all through my life. And the other, the elders, you know, they were shocked because they were all talking to one another and mm. they were not ready at all. Oh. <laughs> she was ready because her eyes were stuck, <laughs> glued. Because my father said, mother's going to come, so oh. where is she? Like, as a child, I'm looking up, okay, is she telling, what is it, where, where is mother and when will she come? And I was the first one to spot. Oh. So that was one wonderful incident. And do you remember the balcony darshan also? Yes, yes. All smiles. Actually, uh, she would ponder a lot. You must have experienced too. Pondered a lot, looking at... It seemed that she's looking at everyone, even the last person at the end of that bend of the road. 
Absolutely. Everyone yes. felt it. That yes. uh, there's no one who didn't feel mm. have this kind of an ex kind of a feeling. And so I thought she was looking at me. He thought she's looking at him. So it was like that. It was a marvelous thing for us. It was a very joyful moment because, as I told you, immediately after that, after the balcony darshan, we used to run, 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 come to flower room to collect some flowers, to get right. some flowers to offer at the samadhi, Sri Aurobindo samadhi. So that was our, uh, even she. Yes. And we didn't even know the significance of this flower or that flower. We were small. We were allowed to place it on the samadhi. Samadhi, there. as we so pleased. You just place it. That was before all the designs yes, began. Yes, 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 yes. And we used to put it, and we used to get the agarbatti from uh, Bishwabanidhi. She was there. She was to, uh, mother called her Bishwabani, because she, when she distributed the flowers, each flower had a meaning, Bani. So message. mother, that was message. Universal, universal message. 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 That, so yes. we used to get the agarbatti from her and uh, the incense stick and the flowers we had. Then we would offer, do pranam. My f our father used to take longer, much longer time to do all that and we used to get a little impatient because after this we have to go to the dining room for we our breakfast. We used to feel hungry. <laughs> so, he used to take us to the dining room. We used to have our breakfast. And actually, we were very uh, closely associated with uh, Jugol Kishor Mukherjee, oh, Jugol oh. Very few knowledge. people have talked about him. That knowledge. Yeah. If you knowledge. could say something about knowledge. Jugol, that would yes, be nice. Yes, uh, Jugol was actually, um, he belonged to, uh, uh, my, sis, my father was a uh, village, you know, those were the times. He was born in a small little village in Aura. And he used to go to a school which was very close to Jugulda's house, I think. Oh. So that's how, you know. Native of the same native, place. I mean, same uh, place. Same place. And I think I've heard that we are distant, some kind of a distantly related. And uh, Jugulda was a brilliant student, Scholar. a brilliant Physics. student. And he went to Presidency College with physics. And um, Got a gold he was a medal. gold medalist oh. in those days, gold medalist. But unfortunately, he had um, didn't have the means to carry on much. But uh, his mother became a widow, and so and uh, I think they must have heard so much of Mother and Sri Aurobindo. So the mother comes along with the son here, and uh, that's it. We, my sister and myself, we were very close to that family, Jugulda and the mother. Why? Because in those days, we children were not allowed to uh, go for meditations and all that, no? So we were kept back. So Jugulda's mother used to keep me. We used to call her Granny. Granny. Oh. She grandma, was my grandma. Takuma. 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 Grandmother. So grandmother she was she to was us. To us. Yeah. She used to keep me and she used to teach me, you know, she used to say, let us work as we pray, you know, those little uh, prayers. prayers she learnt. Uh, she used to take me to, she used to work in granary. Oh. And I actually started working at the age of three and a half or four, you would say. Why? Because she would work in the granary and she would say, come pick up this, pick up that, you know, those this little stones. Uh, this is black, this is this called stone. stones. You just to separate them and all that. And after some time, she would say that now, that uh, what you call the, those big tubs are mm -hmm. empty so now you stand there and you recite one of mother's prayers so and now everybody concentrate shampa is going to recite a prayer. let us work as we pray for it oh. work is the so body's the best, best prayer to the divine and everybody claps, claps. So that's how we grew up and and what were you doing at that time Steve? actually i was with my father because I was a little older, no? she, mm -hmm. she was too small to understand things, so I could roam about with my father. He would go most of the time, he would be in, in meditation, long hours meditation. So I would just sit beside him or uh, be taken to the library or something, you know, to expose me to all this you know, bigger world, I mean wider yes. world. But then come back again to Jugulda's mother. Oh. So we would just come, meet together, meet, and then from there we used to go to dining room for our lunch at 11.15.
Now, how much did you see mother during actually, this time? Actually, yes, actually, uh, in between, I should say, we lost our mother. She oh. died very young. So, uh, 62. The, mm, 62. So, till 61, we had that balcony darshan. So, after that, uh, what happened was my father, my mother was very sickly. So, my father would stay in Golkond when he would come alone. So, one of, I think it was in sometime in 1962, October or like that, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a very bad dream in uh, Golkond. Oh. He rushed back home. Actually, we used to communicate through Nolinida. So, whatever we had to do. In fact, we used to come to the ashram. Uh, by firstly, we had to take permission from uh, the mother whether to come or not. Because so my yeah. father always used to take the permission through Nolinida, write a letter, and uh, my our divine mother would uh, send a blessing. Say so you, you may come. You may come. Okay. Satya, Satya Brahma, Brahma may come. My father's name is Satya, Satya Brahma. Brahma. Come. Now, did he see Nolini before he left after the dream? No, he hmm. didn't see Nolini. Actually, he had a very bad dream. Then, uh, with that, he, he saw as if uh, my mother is not well. So that oh. was the the feeling. He, in the middle of the night, he 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 called out so badly that the neighboring, uh, you know, the, all those who were the inmates there, mm -hmm. they woke up. They gave him some water to drink. He was feeling very, he was sweating badly. He was not feeling well. Then um, he rushed home. Because he got a telegram. He got also. a telegram also. Same. So both coincided. The telegram oh. and his feeling, uh, you know, very sick there. So he went back home. Saw my mother was very sick. Then she passed away. But my mother's passing away is something also. Uh, very significant because uh, she was a rheumatic heart patient. So naturally she had a very weak heart. So when she was sick, three, I think about three days or so he was there. And uh, that mother's realization photograph, that photograph with the mm -hmm. realization yeah. tree, yes. we had it in our house. So my mother would point out at that photograph and wanted the others to put it near her head. Always. So, so. Always. Whenever they shifted her, the photograph would be placed behind oh. her. She, would, she was so conscious, she was so ill, but she was conscious of this. And uh, before breathing her last thrice, she said, Ma, 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 thrice. And uh, then that was the, the last. And... Uh, a telegram was sent. My father sent a telegram. The mother writes in the telegram, her soul is with me. Yeah. Mother said that yes. if one remembers her yeah. at the last. Yes. Her, yes. Soul. her soul is with me. Yes. Blessings. So that was my uh, solace for my father. Yeah. Uh, so now you were here during I, that no, time? No, I was not. There? I was there Both with, of my, you? with my yes. maternal yes. uncles. Yes. Oh, because okay. she was weak, she couldn't come anymore. And, and you couldn't come, no, well, no, uh, obviously, was, uh, with your father. Small, he lived yeah, in Golkhan. Yes, so there was that, uh, you know, a lot of break in between. So know. there was a little break. Sixties, a little, you know, somewhere there was after passing away. A few years, there was a bit of a break. Two, three, us. not more than that, because in 1965, I went uh, in February, 25th is my birthday. So 21st, we had the mother's balcony. That time she was, I think she had gone up to the terrace. Yes. And then uh, I had to go to the room, the mother's room, for special darshan. Oh. So the cards that we have brought, so start, uh, 1965 onwards, 19 till 1972. Oh. Oh, let us see some of those. Till this is the first one. This written, you can give it to me, please. No, you open and, and, no. and we'll hold it out. They're yeah, very old. This is 65. This is how we used to get it. You've kept them so nicely. Sure. This is the sure. February Darshan card with Mother's signature. 
February mother's birthday and her signature. And this is my sister's birthday, 25th. And this is Seema's birthday with this beautiful card from mother. And mothers always put the date, bon fit. And then this is uh, something that uh, I used to receive these also. Mm -hmm. Mother would put uh, something yes. either that yes. she wrote or yeah. Sri Aurobindo wrote. wrote. Mm -hmm. And this is very beautiful. Very beautiful. Then comes 66. And all they come 66 serially. Uh, my sister has put them all serially. With the blessings. So blessing packet and all, and look at how beautiful this card is. And inside with the blessing packet to Seema with blessings mother. Sometimes she used to write J Sometimes -E. she used to change the J E and sometimes, sometimes J I. J -I. We, oh. didn't know why. So we didn't know why. We didn't see. know why. Ah. There's a change. Yeah. Give it to me. As we're looking at these, mm -hmm. tell us a bit. How it was to go to actually, mother on your see, birthday? Yeah, actually, um, she would allow the others to do pranam on her like knees or something, but I, I just wouldn't see anything. My focus was was on her lotus feet, you know. She used to like her lotus feet. I have to put my head down there. So my concentration was there at a little, but she would be, actually she used to radiate with that white light. She always had that white, that was for sure. And the room would be, one would imagine that the room is so big. That is one thing, actually the room was, was so, so small. small. Was it was so like a big kingdom, a big this palace. This was my something. experience I also. So, so large. sad later on that mother used mother to, used to stay, stay in such a small room. How? We used to feel so sad, we felt like crying. Oh my you know? God. And the room would be magnified. And there yeah. would be light all the time, you know, with her. And it was like that. My focus is on her lotus feet. And, uh, you know, and she would keep her head, and she used to be so patient with us, patient. really. For so long, my head pressed upon her lotus feet and so many other people still waiting, waiting, still waiting for their turn. But she would never, ever say, now the time is up. Oh. No. And uh, because behind... Me would be my father behind my, because my father would hold on to me like this, uh, lest something you know happens. So, because I'm before the mother, cautious, my mother, divine mother. So, so cautious my father used to be that if I do something here or there, you know, and we were always treated like children by our father, you know, like little ones. And uh, behind her would be, uh, you just ask couldn't, her, her experience. I couldn't, and when I used to be there, I used to, I, I would feel I should run up to her because she was sort of, you know, come. Sort of come. And she was and so tiny. I would just rush towards her. And uh, after that, I don't know, being such a small child, I would feel... I don't know, I didn't, I wouldn't behave like a child. It was not like a child. Like a child, I would rush up to her, but then, you know, fall at her feet. Fall at her feet. And I remember the last darshan I had of the mother. There used to be flowers that used to be given to all of us. 
for all of us. So there used to be somebody, I don't know, Champak Lalji or somebody would offer the flower and that flower would be given. On the last darshan, we didn't know this would be the last, mother was groping for a special flower. She didn't, she, she said no. She was groping for a particular flower and she for came. You. For, for you on your birthday, no. yes. Not, Not on her birthday. No, my it birthday. was her birthday, but we would oh. accompany her. Oh. All of us would come. I All see. Of us. So she would allow wonderful. us. The whole How family wonderful. would be. Huh? And because so father and both of you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she was groping, you know, she was searching for something. And then she picked up one rose, the color of which I will not be able to express. It's a kind of a red, which is very rich red with the blackish red, velvety. I have not been able to understand that. Like, I don't know what does it mean, actually. But uh, I was so happy that uh, after that, I came down and my father said, let me see the rose. I said, no. And I was running straight to the samadhi with that rose. I remember that. And the others were telling me, show me, child, show me what I the said, mother no. did. No, it's mine. I will not give <laughs> no, it to anybody. It's anyone. so special because everybody <laughs> got it from him, Champa Plaja or something. But I got it straight from her because she was searching for it. And she gave me one. I was, I felt like, and uh, so, like mother, we've been always been guided by her, actually, because uh, we didn't have, our own mother, I remember when my mother passed away, my uncle said, now that your mother, uh, she's in one room and we are in the other room. My mother just called us and she hugged us and then we were in the other room and um, then she passes away. Then my, my uncle says, uh, what will happen to you? Your mother is no more. Then she was, was 11. Then 11. She, 11. Then she said, What's there if she's gone? My mother is there. Oh, at 11 years My old. My mother is there. Showing, Seeing pointing out a photograph. at 11. My mother is there. So that's how we grew up. But my father's? My father's search was a very uh, difficult one. And we owe everything to him. His was very difficult because... Uh, he was a spiritual seeker. His background was a typical Bengali Brahmin family, mm -hmm. orthodox, religious, but he was speaking, seeking for spirituality from the right from his childhood, like his uh, uncle was a spiritual person. So he used to recite the Gita at night and place the Gita under his pillow before he would go to sleep. Mm. So that's how he grew up. So after his education, he comes to Calcutta to study, to, ta uh, to do his graduation. At that point of time, you know, we had uh, Ram, uh, Sri Ram Krishna Institute of Culture. There used to be some lectures delivered by scholars. So he used to go there as a student and he used to, you know, spread out the maths and other things. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. this. And, uh, and he used to listen to these lectures. One of the scholars asked him, have you read Sri Aurobindo? That was the time when Sri Aurobindo, it was I think in 1936 36 or so. Then. 36, have you read yes. Sri Aurobindo? He said no. He just said, read Sri Aurobindo. He came back with that vibration to read Sri Aurobindo. Then he started reading Sri Aurobindo. Then what happened was that, I hope you know in Calcutta, there's a street called College Street, where you have the university, the best colleges, and both sides are lined up with only books and books and books. So he was walking down that, and uh, in those days, they used to have these framed, you know, some very good writings, you know, some good sayings and writings framed up. Uh. In one of those framed writings, he finds this beautiful thing written in Bengali, which um, he said, now, what is this? I, we, uh, the frame has broken, but uh, the writing is still there. Um, it says, with Ma written See, in, the, in middle. the middle, and it says that uh, one, um, like, uh, why are you worrying? 
if a mother is by your side, what is there to worry? Because she has taken the all burden, your responsibility. All our responsibility. See, and this was in the window of a bookstore. No, no, this no, was no, just no, on the footpath. Just a footpath. footpath. On the footpath. Yeah, they're footpath. selling all these all things. All these things on he the says, footpath. What? Who is this mother? Who has taken our responsibility? This burden of the universe? Who then is this mother? Who is this universal mother? This mother must such be a simple, someone, such a simple, simple thing. Ma, in the middle, in the middle, with a bridge, uh, with the Ma water. Is the bridge. And see, if mother is by your side, what is there to worry? Because she has taken up all our responsibilities. So then comes the search. Who is this mother? Then because he was born, we must tell him, he was born 8th January 1916. 16. Hmm. Next year he will be 100 years old, mm -hmm. centenary year. Right. Really. So he was very young then, probably he was 18, 19 when he saw this little thing on the roadside. And um, so then comes Pondicherry, then he comes here, says yes. I have found my mother. In what year? 1945. Oh. He gets the combined darshan of the mother and Sri Aurobindo. And, Sri Aurobindo. and uh, when he first saw him, both of them, he could only see the golden light in Sri Aurobindo. Even when before his turn could come, he could see golden on one side and white on the other. He couldn't see the faces like he, it was also golden and dazzling, also dazzling white right. and uh, he says uh, I still remember he, he said I was just crying my tears rolling down and my eyes were blurred. so blurred I couldn't even see them properly I could see the golden and the white, pure white pure white light and uh, he says that I just had to clean myself yeah, right. I had to just rub off my tears because I couldn't check my emotion and then, of course, he was at their feet. So that was his first darshan of the mother. I think it was on 24th April, probably. And he had many darshans then. Yeah. Right? After of, that, he came, consequently Arbindo. came one after another. He got married in between. Then uh -huh. we were born. Then he brought us. Then my mo mother expired. So all this had a lot of... And then in 1946, I have to show you the book, you know, of the mother. Which was signed by him. Actually, this is very badly mutilated. And I'm like badly this thing. So, Bobby somehow oh, Bobby. restored it. Restored it. Said you have to it keep it like It was with him this. all through his... Uh, Sh all Sh through... Sri Aurobindo's signature. He, uh, it was in the uh, last minute. It was in his ICU. He had gone ICU, into the ICU with here. this. He asked the doctor. He was very conscious. He said, I have the mother in my chest. Can I keep it with me? So he says, uh, so signed by Sri Aurobindo, by my master. Can I keep it? So the signed doctor said master. yes. Because the doctor knew he's not going to yeah. stay anymore. So he says, okay. And there's another book uh, by... Yeah, this uh, we somehow... Uh, it was actually very badly... Uh, badly, uh, not properly, this thing. But this also is signed by Sri Aurobindo. <gasps> This was, what book is this? This is in Letters, hmm? Letters on Yoga. Letters on Yoga. So the cards we still have and uh, one thing you must notice mm. she is to write S I M A and at uh, -E -E some places E S -E double E M A double E M A here yes yes so we didn't know what the significance was she kept changing and I think you should describe your last okay. yeah. this thing. give it to her. 68, this is... 68? Is this the last chord you received? No. No. You received after 72, that. 72, 73, 72, 73 also. 73, yes. Because that time she couldn't write. She couldn't, she couldn't write. This 
In the night, as in the day, be always with me. In sleep, as in waking, let me feel in me always the reality of your presence. Let it sustain and make to grow in me youth, truth, consciousness, and bliss, constantly and at all times. Sri Aurobindo. I'm glad that Barbie helped you with that. Yes. Because she's wonderful. She's wonderful. The last, I think, 72. I don't have any more. I don't know. Yeah. Where. Because the last time that I saw her, yes. uh, she. Uh, with in a sonorous voice, she called out to me, Seema, Seema, I still remember sometimes she called out and I just emerged from, I think, from dark to light, darkness to light. It was like that and she was also dazzlingly white, so pure. And uh, she called out my name when the others were still waiting. I said, uh, oh, hmm? any more? No, no. No, it, it's folded. Yeah, I know. So that was the last, I think, 1972 February, ah. because she was uh, gradually becoming mm. uh, less uh, available to yes. us. Yes. yes. Very, very. And that was the time. Then I think the last darshan was there in 73 Sorry. February mm -hmm. when. Um, she was, uh, the others were telling, uh, Akka was there, that is Vasudha Ben, mm -hmm. was constantly telling the others not to, um, uh, not to kneel down and uh, mm -hmm. do pranam. Because mother, because is, mother finding is finding it very difficult. difficult to, because to touch, because mm -hmm. she would touch our, this thing, no? Or here she bless would us bless on us our, here. here. So, but what happened, I just, the others were doing it on her knees, but I couldn't do it on her knees. I just fell as usual at her feet, as usual. So I did it and my dear mother, my sweet mother, she had to bend so low, but nobody even uh, pulled me up. For the others, they were telling them, no, no, don't do pranam like this, do it like this, do it like, but I was allowed to do it there at her feet. So she bent so low and for such a long time, I think I can still free remember the, the pressure she put on my head, the last that she did. She would always put a pressure on She it. put a lot of pressure on my head. And then with the finger, she would, she would slide, just it. slide it down. Oh. Yeah. Through the middle of the head that she used to be slided on the birthdays and all the time. Now, did you see Mother at any other times? Could you go see her, or did you write to her? No, we no, have no, we never, neither didn't. my father nor I, we have corresponded with her ever. But we had, uh, she would constantly help us. She, we, should, we would constantly feel her presence whenever, whichever way possible. We just, just, just didn't personally meet her, but we had to contact uh, Nolinida for whatever we wanted and 
through him my father would get all the or uh, whatever he wanted and uh, birthdays would be very important and uh, darshan day means 21st february only because we were all students we were not allowed and we were <clears throat> studying in a convent school so they wouldn't allow us i we still remember that when we used to come on 21st february darshans we had to uh, give a special leave letter to our principal and uh, once or twice i think we had to be readmitted <laughs> mm. we had to i had to be readmitted i see because we, there was a break in our academic session yeah. Yeah. but still we would come nothing would stop us from coming in fact so, we wouldn't go anywhere i mean yes, our holidays is, were here to be here yes and people would ask us you you have to have uh, been to this place that place this place we said no we've all only been to pondicherry they were so surprised that we haven't visited only by sheer luck like my subject was geography i had to go out for excursions for my subject so but my little sister poor thing she has I not seen the it. world i have seen my world my mother's through my mother yes, you've seen it. i think only mother. one trip she made to darjeeling that was our world we're, we're going to take a little break mm -hmm.